Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Armored vehicles have always been relevant in the military industry. They are created to solve completely different tasks, be it the transportation of soldiers, reconnaissance, assault, command post, and so on. But each of them is a unique development. And today, we want to show you the 10 most amazing military armored vehicles in the world. Patria 6x6 the Patria 6x6 is a multi-purpose armored vehicle developed by Patria, sharing some components from the Patria AMV 8x8 armored vehicles, and intended as the replacement for the Posse armored vehicle. It is powered by a 5-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine, developing 400 horsepower, and a top speed in excess of 60 miles per hour, 100 kilometers an hour. Optionally, the vehicle can be equipped with an amphibious kit. The new vehicle offers a Ballistic Protection Stanag Level 4, which represents protection against heavy machine gun fire. The Patria 6x6 can be equipped with a variety of add-on armor kits, mine protection kits, active protection systems, and weapon stations. The vehicle crew consists of two or three men, along with up to ten fully equipped infantrymen. Bobber 3 The Bobber 3 armored reconnaissance vehicle was developed by the Polish AMZ Kutno. It shares some similarities with a larger Hippopotam 8x8 multi-role armored vehicle, also developed by AMZ Kutno. The Bobber 3 has a crew of about 3 men and can carry about 5 scouts. Hull of the vehicle is of welded steel construction. Armor of the Bobber provides all-round protection against the 7.62x39mm by by armor-piercing rounds. Add-on armor can be fitted. This armored vehicle can be fitted with various remotely controlled weapons and specialized reconnaissance equipment. The vehicle is powered by a Cummins turbocharged diesel engine, developing 285 horsepower. It drives all four wheels. The Bobber is fully amphibious. On water, it is propelled by two water jets. Amphibious speed on water is about 6 miles per hour, 10 kilometers an hour. Six nine twenty two. MZKT-6922 is a Russian Army 6x6 transporter erector launcher designed and developed by MZKT in Belarus. It was designed as a specialized carrier for short and medium-range air defense missiles, radars, and associated equipment. The main goal was to create a wheeled chassis which could be used as a platform for TOR air defense system. The MZKT-6922 is a high-mobility chassis designed to operate off-road. It has a payload capacity ranging from 8 to 14 tons depending on the version. The vehicle is powered by a Russian Yam 7513-1004 diesel engine. It is a 14.86 liter engine, developing 420 horsepower. 6. Bushmaster the Bushmaster Protected Mobility Vehicle, or Infantry Mobility Vehicle, is an Australian-built four-wheel drive armored vehicle. The Bushmaster was primarily designed by the then-government-owned Australian Defense Industries, ADI, and is currently produced by Thales Australia. Hull of the Bushmaster is of all welded steel armor. It provides protection against small arms fire and shell splinters. It provides high-level protection against mines and improvised explosive devices. Optional armor kit can be fitted, which provides protection against 5.56mm and 7.62mm armor-piercing rounds. The Bushmaster MRAP has a crew of two and can carry seven troops. Variant of this vehicle used by the Royal Australian Air Force can carry ten troops. A 7.62mm or 5.56mm machine gun can be mounted on the roof of the vehicle. Nimmer JAIS 
The JAIS, formerly called N-35, is a wheeled, mine-protected infantry armored vehicle manufactured by the defense company Nimmer Automotive in United Arab Emirates. The N-35 provides a ballistic protection up to Staneg 4569 Level 4 and mine protection Staneg 4569 up to Level 4A, 4B, 10 kilograms of mine blast explosion under the wheels and floor. The troop compartment can accommodate a total of 11 military personnel, including gunner. The roof of the JAIS N-35 4x4 mine-protected infantry armored vehicle can be fitted with a remote weapon station. Armed with 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun, the N-35 can negotiate a gradient of 60%, climb a vertical obstacle of 600mm, and cross a trench of 1,000mm. LAG Rilla The Rilla is a tactical armored in the category of MRAP, mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle designed and manufactured by the company IAG, International Armored Group. The Rilla 4x4 MRAP can be fitted with a one-man open-top turret mounted on the roof of the vehicle that can be armed with a machine gun up to 12.7mm caliber. The vehicle can accommodate up to 12 fully-geared military personnel, including driver, commander, and 10 soldiers. The Rilla offers ballistic protection up to level 4 Staneg 4569 against firing of small arms, 7.62mm armor-piercing bullets, as well as 12.7mm armor-piercing rounds, 14.5mm rounds. The Rilla has a maximum combat weight of 18,000 kg with a maximum payload of 4,500 kg. Navistar Defense MXT The MXT, Military Extreme Truck, was introduced in 2006. Part of International Truck's military vehicles line, it is an international MXT extensively modified for military duty. The vehicle is available in armored and non-armored versions. Both variants are available with three different cab configurations, standard, extended cab, and crew cab. It accommodates up to five fully equipped troops, depending on the version. The Navistar Defense MXT is designed with a rugged, light frame rail system for superior off-road mobility in rough terrain like Afghanistan. Its 4x4 performance and MRAP-like protection from ballistics fire, mines, and roadside bombs help ensure the safety of personnel and cargo alike. The Navistar MXT is powered by a Max 4 6 liter turbocharged diesel engine, developing 340 horsepower. Salamander 8x8 Strike Group, the world's largest privately owned vehicle armoring company, unveiled a new 8x8 amphibious armored vehicle dubbed Salamander AFSV, at IDEX 2019 in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. Salamander 8x8 armored vehicle can be deployed for various missions, peacekeeping operations, and convoy escort. The vehicle is designed to carry passengers and cargo on hard surface roads, dirt tracks, off-road, and cross wet gaps. The Salamander has a crew of two, and the rear part of the hull can accommodate eight troops. The roof of the vehicle can be fitted with different types of weapon station. The Salamander can be protected up to level 3 Stanag 4569 to provide protection against firing of small arms 762 caliber at a range of 30 meters and blast of 8 kilogram mine explosion under the wheels and the body of the vehicle. Kraz Fiona The Kraz Fiona is a multi-role armored off-road mine-protected vehicle with V-Hull based on the Kraz 6322. Intended for operations on transportation special forces personnel, cargoes, and equipment. The hull of the Fiona provides a protection against firing of small arms Staneg 4569 Level 3, 7.62mm. The vehicle provides also a protection against mine blast. 
The Kraz Fiona can be fitted with a single open top turret with armor plates protection on 360 degrees. This turret can be armed with a 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun. The vehicle can accommodate two crew members and up to 14 soldiers. The Fiona is motorized with a YAMS 238D 1486-liter V8 diesel engine, producing 330 horsepower, coupled to a YAMS 8-speed manual split transmission. PMPV 6x6 Misu The PMPV, Protected Multipurpose Vehicle 6x6 Misu, is a wheeled armored personnel carrier in the category of MRAP vehicle, designed, developed, and manufactured by Protolab, a defense company based in Finland. As all the modern combat vehicles, the PMPV 6x6 Misu can be fitted with armored glass turret, armed with a 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun. The PMPV 6x6 Misu has a total weight of 14,000 kilograms and can carry a total of 12 military personnel, including driver and commander. The vehicle is based on an innovative structure, providing a high level of protection against mine blast. The PMPV 6x6 Misu is fully amphibious, being propelled in the water by two propellers mounted at the rear of the hull. In the water, the vehicle can swim at a maximum speed of 7 miles per hour. 12 kilometers an hour. That's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the vehicles you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.